In this video, we learn about a new powerful tool called Choosers, and about how to use it to add armed animations to our motion matching. Let's start with, what are Choosers? Chooser is an amazing tool, which we use when we want to dynamically select a specific asset based on some input data. Now, what the hell does it mean? I will start with an easy example. Here we have a Chooser table I made. The rows are the assets we want to switch or control, and the columns are the data we use to switch. So, here we switch the overlay color of the character based on its speed and if he is falling. If we walk or crouch, the first material we show. If we run, the second one. And if we jump, the third. Super useful and pretty easy system. First, in order to use it, go to plugins, type choosers, edit in and restart the project. Now go to your motion matching folder add a chooser table and double click it. We need to connect the table to our target, the animation blueprint. So click on the table settings and add an input. Animation blueprint is a class, so pick class and choose our ABP. Leave directions as lead. As for output, it's, well, what the output will be. It can be literally anything. But in this case, we want it to be pose search databases, since this is what we will switch. As for the rows, we need to add our databases. So click Add Row, Asset, and let's start with the locomotion. Add two other rows for the in-air database and couching. And fill them in. As for columns, this is what we want to choose based on, like I showed in the example. But for now, let's add our is crouching bool and is falling bool, which we have set in the animation blueprint. Now we need to set the bulls. So, for the locomotion, we need not to crouch and not to fall. For our air animations, we need to not crouch and fall. And for our crouch animations, to crouch and to not fall. And that's basically it. Now let's go to our ABP and we can delete all of this. Click on motion matching node, click on dynamic value and unexpose the pin. Click on update and create a binding. That's super useful. Now this function will happen on every update of our motion matching system. Now drag this and type evaluate chooser. Click on it and choose our table as your chooser. From the node, drag and type convert to motion matching. From here, Drag set database to search, since we want to feed a dynamic database and plug it to the result of our chooser, which will give us our correct database. Connect the motion matching node to the motion matching node and pick interrupt on database change for now. Press compile and that's it. This is where you can really control your motion matching system. You can even double click it and write a lot of logic over here, but this is for the next tutorials. Now let's check it out. I haven't showed it yet, so go to Tools, click Rewind Debugger and Details. Turn on those two things and don't forget to pick the character. Now you can see that everything is working. Now you can see that everything is working. You can even double click our choosing table and see what's happening over here. Just grab it to our level and put it right here. This will be super useful when we will have more complex tables. Now let's move on to the armed animations. First, let's grab the armed animations from Lyra. Exactly as we did before, this time go to rifle animations, Control A, click migrate, and just uncheck everything that's not animations, since we already have the mesh. Let's also grab the rifle, search the word rifle and migrate just the static mesh and its textures. Now go to your motion matching folder, I'll create another folder for the armed animations, double click and create a new database. Rename it to PSD rifle locomotion, hit Ctrl D to duplicate, and again, and change their names to rifle in air and rifle courage. Open the three databases and let's start with Crouch. 
type crouch and throw in anything that is in turns or transitions. Don't forget to turn on root motion and root lock for everyone. For in air animations, write jump and pick apex, for loop and start loop. As for locomotion, grab all the jogs, walks, the two idols on the right, and the turns. Make a quick flip flop and a new bull named is rifle. Go to your animation blueprint and set a new variable like we did to those before. Now after a long time, go back to our choosing table and add 3 new rows. Add our 3 new databases in the same order as before and add a new bool column for our new bool. Put false to the top tree, true the bottom tree and as for the others, just fill them in exactly like before since those are the same states. After that, I added a gun off camera real quick. Let's check the final results out. As for why off camera and why I didn't add shooting, aim and other stuff, it's because it's a choosers and motion matching tutorial and not shooting system and I don't want people to just, you know, skip half of the video and yeah. So if you want me to add a follow up video with a full shooting system, let me know in the comments and I'll make one. Thanks again for the likes and comments on the last video. Please continue to do so and like this video, it helps me a lot to keep going. Subscribe to see my future videos. 